Hey YouTube, I'm going to do a video of turbo posting to Instagram. Um, Instagram is, oh, I don't know, Instagram, posting to Instagram drives me totally crazy. So this is very, I've streamlined it very much and I'm actually going to post nine images all at the same time. Um, and I'm going to do it while I record. I've got, I've cheated. I've got some things set up in advance, but you'll see how, you'll see how fast this is. Um, so tags. Well, let's talk about the images first. So I have, um, I've been working on this set of images. I have nine images that, um, I want to post to Instagram. Now I'm going to talk about tog here a little bit. Um, I put it in a previous video. Tog is actually going to happen. This is a this is command line power tools for photographers that I've created, and I'm either going to share it or open source it. I haven't decided yet, but um, <clears throat> this is Tog. One thing that Tog can do is make Instagram versions. So Tog now behind the scenes is making Instagram versions, and so that we don't have to wait for that because I've already done it ahead of time. Um, also, Tog does this nice thing of putting a symbolic link to whatever you're, the set you're working on. But Tog is busily making these <coughs> Instagram versions so it squares it out. It knows if it's dark or light. It knows if it's portrait or landscape. So it's creating square versions that are 2000 squared. And I've already done that and ordered them in the order I'm going to post because I've started posting blocks to Instagram. Like there is my Instagram feed. Uh, and I'm posting groups of three. I recently posted a group of six and actually got a, got a boost. So I thought, well, three, six, let's just do nine because this shoot was three outfits. Um, so uh, tags, tags are the next pain in the ass with Instagram. So this is not in TOG yet, but it will be. Um, I have a, I'm basically calling it a routine, telling it some specific tags that I want in this, including Denver Fashion Week, which is why I'm printing right now. Janelle is currently at the Denver Fashion Week um, auditions, and so is pretty much every model and want to be model in Denver. So if I hit that hashtag right now, I'm hoping I get some visibility. And then I'm saying what I want to say in the post as well. I'm adding that. And when I hit return, what I'm getting is three, because I usually do three, like that is a block. So that is a block of stuff that I can just paste straight into Instagram. It's including the it's including the hashtags that I gave it specifically, but padding out to almost 30 using random hashtags that I have a whole big I've got about 200 random hashtags in the code that I've nurtured and managed. Uh, the ones I'm adding are like I said uh, Deborah Fashion Week and I've gone through Janelle's page to see what she posts about herself to add some of those too, because she's put some thought into that. But in terms of time, I would have to do that just for one image. I would have to do that research just for one image. So I'm doing it for all nine. So the last pain in the ass about Instagram posting is that you can, it's very phone centric. Um, I've got another video on doing this, but just, just to recap, this is Opera browser that I've installed on the desktop. I'm using an agent switcher to say that I'm an iPad. Therefore, when I go to Instagram, what it returns to me is this is what you would get on Instagram if you were on your phone or your iPad, which has some extra features. Um, it, the only thing it doesn't have, as far as I can tell, is messaging, but you can post. So now we can post, which is badass. We can even go a step further because Instagram, since I originally released a video about this, Instagram now supports um, tagging people in the images as you post them from the web. So if we go to developer tools, it's even simulating a touch. So I can do everything.
So here we go. I'm going to post nine images. I'm going to put, a, you know, I'm not going to put a stopwatch on it because I'm going to be slowing down and talking to you anyway. But just for the record, it's 148 right now, 149 or 148, 148 and what? Ah, it doesn't matter. It's 148, so I'm going to start posting. Add image one, and I've I've chosen these so that I get a nice visual of the line. So open that, copy that, paste that, check it. See my profile for all nine images from this set. Amazing issue with Titian. Um, you know what, I'm gonna change this. Just to throw a spanner in the works. Let's do that, oops. Let's include her name. Uh, and again, all of these, it's really important to random order your hashtags and do randomization of hashtags. If you post the same hashtags over and over again, you will be dinged. So that's a better version. What's it doing? It's not really liking that. Let's take that away. Is that it? Colorado, let me see my profile for all nine images from the set. Amazing shoot with Janelle Tejan. Makeup by Makeup by Tejan. It's always a pleasure. Cool. Developer tools. Tag people. This is the slightly monotonous thing. And I'm gonna tag her agency. You know what? I'm gonna tag in a few of them. Denver Fashion Week. done share boom so that's one while well, that's thinking about it get another one of these in my clipboard to Next model. Share. So that's quick. I mean, that is legitimately quick. Compared to doing this on your phone, this is hardcore fast. Image three. Next. Control V for paste, tag people, Janelle, let's tag her makeup too, Tijan, I wish it uh, auto populated up there, never mind. Three, how are we doing? That's three, under three minutes since, and I changed this stuff. Let's. Grab another three random things. We're on image four. Shift control C, because it's a terminal. Tag people. what they think about me tagging them tagging such a game I kind of hate it kind of hate this game but if I'm gonna play this game I'm gonna win this game that was what four yeah five and the Instagrammer thing Oh, my phone's starting to light up already. 
reply to your story. Um, uh, ooh, I wonder where. Um, what am I doing? I'm not focused. Stop distracting me. Tejan. Next model. I'm going to go back and add some locations here. Let me see. Where is. It is. Designers Boutiques. Where? Where is the sign up? Quick! I'm wasting these people's time. Sunday, August 19th. Luminati. Ha ha ha. How many people are checking in there right now? Luminati. Uh, Luminati three, come on. There's Janelle. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Come on. Come on, Instagram. So that is sweet um, because every model in Denver is checking in there right now and we'll see also recent check-ins. That's number um, that was number help me out here. That was number five, wasn't it? Yeah. I should switch my damn notifications off when I do stuff like this. Let's do that again. Lumen what? Lumen... Lumenati. Lumenati. I think I spelled it wrongly. Never mind. Tag people. Make up by Tijan. Professional week. Oh, I didn't do next model. Next model. Done. Okay, so that's six, and we are at seven minutes. Including all that crap of me trying to find out where their location was. Home stretch here. Some new randos. And what a set that was. Holy crap. We shot for 45 minutes. And ridiculous. Janelle is frigging awesome. Leave it at that. Then share. So if you like the look of this, definitely like and subscribe my channels because this is how I roll. It's all about efficiency. Um, you'll see Tog coming, videos coming, Luminati. Tag people. 
Over Fashion Week. Share. That is a that was a good idea with that location. Um, where am I? My number nine, right? Last one. So we're coming in about ten minutes for nine images. Um, including a little bit of distraction by talking to you and not knowing where the location was in advance. Luminati. Why do they spell it like that? That's wrong, isn't it? Or am I wrong? Tijin. Next model. Fashion week. Done. That's that was gotta be that was about ten minutes. And there is my feed. Nine new images. Stunning. So that makes me really happy. Like and subscribe um, before you go in case you're intrigued. Basically, quick rundown of TOG if you haven't seen that video. So I've created this thing which you can either use like this in the command line, like I can create resize versions of the images. It's skipping because I've already got them. I can declutter specific files. I can import. I've done this since the menu. I can import from an SD card or camera. Uh, I can create the Instagram friendly versions, but say I'm going to do a set right now. So I'm going to do a YouTube set. I'm going to do Tog New YouTube Set. Um, and I can do, it's linked to there. Here are all the files, all the empty directories for this new set. Raw files automatically go in there, or you should put the raw files in there. They, if you import, they go in there. I've told it to create a proofs directory. I've told it my final images are gonna be in something called final images. And they're basically raw files, final images, and discards are special. Other things you create are workflow related and you can tell TOG certain rules like um, move specific files from here to here and f other files that are here put in discards um, you can write all these rules so that's coming that's coming down the pipe that's all I've got I'm gonna post to the YouTube now have a good day adios